Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Automation Loop. I'm Priyanka. So today I come up with a topic called UiPath Orchestrator 2021 update. As you might aware of UiPath has come up with a 2021 update and you will find a major difference in the orchestrator as compared to the previous version. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the 2021 update of UiPath Orchestrator and what are the changes happen in this update. So watch the video till end to clear the confusion. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first update is enforce sign in with a preferred provider. That means organization administrator can now choose to enforce the Google or Microsoft as the only sign in option for a user. To explain this, we need to navigate to our cloud orchestrator by using platform.uipath.com or a cloud.uipath.com. So here you will find a different signing option. So organization admin can choose the Google or Microsoft as the only sign-in option so that user can log in or sign in with that option only. As of now, I will continue with email. So to enforce the sign-in option with a preferred provider, admin can go to admin, then users and group. And in the authentication settings, we can choose the option to enforce the sign-in with preferred provider. So if the admin select enforce sign-in with Google, so the user can log in with a Google account only. If the admin select enforce sign-in with the Microsoft, then user can log in with the Microsoft account only. So if this option is selected, which is allow any user to be invited to this organization, then user can sign in with the option listed during the sign in for the cloud orchestrator. So the next update is additional language for automation cloud. So UiPath has added the Spanish and Portuguese language for automation cloud. So now we can select a different language for the automation cloud. And to select the language, we can navigate to organization settings and from the language drop down we can select a preferred language for the automation cloud. And here you can see that Spanish and Portuguese Brazil is added newly. The next update is role cleanup. So UiPath has improved the role management in the cloud orchestrator to delimit the set of permissions properly. So now we can create either tenant level permission role or a folder level permission role. To explain this, let's navigate to our cloud orchestrator service And if you go to tenant and role section or a role page, you can see that there are three types of a role, mixed, tenant, and folder. So the tenant role will have only tenant level permission, which will give the access to the tenant resources. So now what is tenant resources? So the resources under tenant page, which is a robot folder, users, role, machine, packages, etc are called as tenant resources. So to create a tenant role, we can click on plus button and add tenant role. And we can provide the name that we want to create. And we can select the set of permissions, which is view, edit, create, and delete. And also we can select the resources that we want a permission for. So the next role is folder role. So folder role will have only folder level permission for working within folder. That means if the user is having a permissions to a specific folder, then the user can only access the resources are present under that folder. So for example, if we have a permissions for a shared folder, then the user can access only the resources which is under shared folder. To create the folder role, we can click on plus button, then folder role. We can provide the name, the role that we want to create and set of permissions we can select and resources that we want access for. So the third one is mixed role. Mixed role will have both tenant and folder permission. 
we cannot create new mixed rule but we can still use the already have as we can see that there are few user available who are having the mixed rule but there is no any option to create the mixed rule in 2021 update also we can modify and it is recommended to replace the mixed rule with a separate rule for tenant and folder permissions that means we can also change the role by going to edit and you can see that there are two different tab available for this role which is tenant permission and the folder permissions so we can also modify this permissions the set of permissions and resources and it is recommended to have either tenant permissions or a folder permissions for the specific role so we can always update the permissions for the specific role now the most important update and many of us got confused of having the look at a new orchestrator and had a question where is my default folder right even i also got lot of comments on my youtube channel stating that there is no any default folder in orchestrator so in 2021 update ui path has removed the classic folder and all the entities are migrated to folder context which is modern folder so we will see why ui path has migrated to modern folder what are the benefits of modern folder and how they works in another video also you will find the personal workspace folder my workspace which is also a modern folder created automatically when user is provisioned in the orchestrator so this folder is dedicated for attended automation or attended user so we will discuss about this topic in detail in a separate video so modern folder is having a different approach of connecting your robot with your orchestrator as compared to the classic folder so we have to create the user and we have to assign or add the user to the folder then we have to create the machine and we have to add the machine to the specific folder to create the robot under a specific folder so we will see the approach of connecting ui path robot with orchestrator in a separate video so the next update is license management ui path automation cloud offers the robust licensing framework which allow user to access any services from the organization based on their licenses so this removes the unnecessary hectic or overhead from the administrator who previously had to move license from one tenant to another it means this configuration makes it easier to manage the user license across multiple tenant and to explain the license management let's go back to the automation cloud then let's go to admin and licenses so you will find a different tab which is robot and services which allow you to distribute your license per tenant so this allow admin to manage the user licenses across multiple tenant very easily and under the user tab you will find a two new section to configure and distribute user licenses which is license allocation to group and license allocation to user so license allocation to group so this allow you to allocate one or more licenses to a particular user group which makes the pool of licenses assigned to a group member available in that group so we'll be having a group and the licenses which can be shared within the user present in the group in the license allocation to the user you can directly assign the license to the user in case you want a full control to accommodate the changes done by the user licensing the users and group section or page come up with a new column called licenses to check the license assignment so here we can see the type of licenses which is assigned to a particular user so another update is action tab for action center is removed from the orchestrator service and now available at automation cloud now you can see the action tab in the automation cloud so earlier it used to have under the orchestrator tenant so in this video we have discussed the ui path orchestrator 2021 update so that's all for today but in the upcoming videos we are going to cover the lot of different topics which is modern folder and the personal workspace how we can connect the ui path robot with the orchestrator in the 2021 update so stay tuned for that 
and subscribe my youtube channel if you haven't already and press the bell icon to get the notification when i post a video so thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye